Good morning, everyone. I'm Jill Dunlop, Minister of Colleges and Universities. I'm delighted to join you here virtually to kick off eCampus Ontario's seventh annual Technology and Education Seminar and Showcase. Here with us today are staff, faculty, and administrators from a long list of Ontario's colleges, universities, and Indigenous institutes. Welcome to everyone. The conference will offer seminars and workshops from thought leaders in academia, panels and keynote speakers, as well as a virtual learning strategy showcase. I'm thrilled to get things started today and highlight the valuable work undertaken by eCampus Ontario as we collaborate in delivering the government's vision for virtual learning in Ontario. I deeply appreciate your partnership in helping to bring the strategy to life. I believe this foundational work will set the course for the future of education in Ontario. As many of you know, the province is a global leader in virtual innovation in educational technology. Ontario currently leads the nation in responding to virtual learning demand and emerging opportunities. And eCampus Ontario plays a key role in Ontario's world-class position as a connector for post-secondary institutions, sharing best practices, resources, guidance, and fueling excellence in the sector. Ontario's virtual learning strategy is the first of its kind in the province's history and supports lifelong learners in achieving their educational and professional aspirations. With more than $70 million in funding, the strategy enables post-secondary institutions to do many things, including grow the number of innovative, high-quality online learning experiences, resources, and tools, provide supports for learners and faculty to successfully learn and teach online, deliver access to in-demand educational technologies that support innovative virtual delivery, and support the unique needs associated with virtual learning at Indigenous institutes. The strategy equips Ontario's post-secondary institutions with tools to offer responsive and flexible, high-quality virtual courses and programs that are fully accessible, and helps learners build the skills and competencies they need to be competitive in today's economy and prepare graduates for successful transitions into labour market. It also has a particular focus in bringing access and reducing barriers for underserved residents and those with fewer socio-economic resources in Ontario's small, rural, remote, Indigenous and Francophone communities. We want to ensure the post-secondary education system is positioned to weather future disruptions and support learning continuity and strengthen Ontario's position as a global leader in virtual learning. The pandemic has moved virtual learning from an enabler of access to an essential service. Although COVID-19 has proven to be an incredibly challenging time, it has also shifted perspectives and presented new opportunities. And because of that, there is now widespread adoption of virtual learning and a shift in education to be digital by design. The virtual learning strategy will bring increasingly equitable access to education and training opportunities, career preparation and upskilling for labour market re-entry. I'm excited to see how this is explored through this year's conference theme, which is co-creating the future. This past 20 months has shown us just how adaptable and collaborative we can be qualities that are embedded in the virtual learning strategy and that will be reflected in our work together moving forward. As Ontario develops new ways of teaching and learning, we are focused on ensuring the availability of high quality virtual learning, opportunities for lifelong learning, and building a more innovative and responsive post-secondary education that fuels Ontario's global competitiveness. Thank you very much for having me with you today. I hope you all enjoy the conference.